How much sin do you accept in your life? The Apostle Paul, in a sense, posed that same question to the church in Corinth. In 1 Corinthians 5 and in verse 6, he says this to them. He says, your glorying is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? So the Apostle Paul is comparing leavening to sin. Because when you put that leavening in the dough, it causes that dough to rise. And it, in, in a sense, infects that whole loaf. So Paul says even the littlest amount spreads and grows. And in fact, the church in Corinth had become so tolerant and so merciful that they accepted sin both in the congregation and in their own personal lives. And so God says, no, we can't do that. The Apostle Paul was inspired to write, Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump. And then he connects that to Jesus Christ. He says, You're truly unleavened, for indeed Christ our Passover was sacrificed for us. So Paul's saying, look at yourself. How much sin is acceptable in your life? Paul says, do everything you can to rely on Jesus Christ. Have him live his life in you and through you so that we choose to be truly unleavened. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.